I don't know where to start. I, I don't know where to start this. Um, I'm going to keep this as short and sweet as possible. I've been so desperately trying to find a playlist or just, just songs in general that that capture the feeling that I'm feeling. <sighs> There's been so many things that I've been trying to process and I think that not only did it turn a year for like quarantine, it also means that it turned a year for all the events that happened during quarantine. Personal and worldly events. There's so many internal and external things. I'm trying to process everything and I for the life of me I could not come up with content to compile so this video is going to be different than all the other videos that are in this series that have came so far because this is all I got and the reality of this channel which I wanted was for this to be real and raw um, I wanted to say I was making this for my loved ones, the people that I hold dear in my life, the people that I care about, but it's also for myself. Um, this is a video. I'm saying that I'm okay. I'm, things are really rough right now and every time I feel like something's letting up, Something else just happens, and fighting is exhausting. I'm doing well. Um, so many thoughts go into my head of like, oh, I'm such a bad friend for not reaching out as much as I want to internally. I'm screaming that I want to, but I don't have the capacity want to socialize, I don't have the energy to talk, not even to text, and I know people are like, it takes one second to just send a text. It's much more comp- it's, it's, it's much more complicated than that, and all I can say is if you don't have experience with that feeling, it's really hard to explain in a way that you would resonate with it. I always thought, I was like, well, I'm not sad, I should, and I feel generally okay. I realize there's a lot of pent up. There's a lot of pent up anger and things that I need to process. And I'll be damned if I would repeat the same thing that happened in the past where I ended up taking it out. The point of this video was just to do a check-in because that's kind of all I have in me right now is just to check in and say like, hey, I'm experiencing life and it's not that easy right now. It really hasn't been for a while, and but I'm okay. I don't necessarily feel on top of the world, but I'm damn proud of where I'm at. I keep saying it, but it's really true. There's just a lot to process, so I'm sure the people watching that knows, or well, at least I hope you know that I care about you. It kills me to feel useless for the people that I love and care about. I have good friends that are, I've been out of the school environment for a while now, so I just know that finals are coming up. I don't know if they're this week or if they're, they happened already or whatever, but I know it's finals season and normally I would check up and see how they're doing and in general with all the stuff that's been happening and the news. I, I need to collect myself. Um, with that to checking in my friends that are like family, my friends in general, and 
close loved ones that are also of the same community as me, the Asian American Pacific Islander um, community, and just in general, these are some hard times, and there's a lot of days where I wake up and I beat myself up over the fact that I only have enough energy to give myself today so that I can get through today. But I know that if I don't take care of myself now, it's just going to be worse in the long run. So I guess it's just also a reminder to remind you, and I hope you know who you are, because I also don't want to drop names on here for the sake of not only my own privacy, but for theirs, that I love you. I love you, and you guys are on my mind. Y'all are on my mind all the time. And I see your text messages, I do. But there's a lot of, there's a lot of shame in in opening them, so I never do because then I get into this cycle of I see it and, and the most that I can do right now is like send a heart or I actually don't have the energy to even look at, at text messages and um, I'm off my phone for a long time. There is sometimes a, a week would pass and I don't even realize that a week passed because I'm so busy like focusing on here that I didn't even realize it's been a week since I've been on my phone. I'm safe. I've been wrestling with that word a lot. But I'm not going to get into that right now. I see you. I'm rooting, with, I'm rooting for you as much as I can. I'm thinking about y'all. I'm praying for y'all as much as I can. Given right now, that's not a lot, but it's all, all I have. And also, if you think that you're a bad friend for not reaching out to me as much, just know that I see you and I recognize that and I feel you. And I want you to take care of yourself. And I hope and pray that you are prioritizing your health. That you're taking care of yourself the best of your abilities. There's just all this confusing, heavy energy inside of me. It feels like mourning. Like grieving. For people I know. For people I don't know. For the could-haves, the should-haves. Almosts. I'm just gonna end this with saying that you are stronger than you think you are. And if you think you're strong, if you're even stronger than that. That I see all your quiet victories and I acknowledge them. And your emotions are valid. It's also valid to feel things that you can't quite put your finger on it. That, do that doesn't mean you're crazy. You're cared for. You're loved. And I see you.